Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And welcome to our annual celebration of serving the public good. Obviously, our celebration this year is a bit different, but it doesn't mean we don't have the best parts. I'm returning for the third year as your esteemed MC. I have my roast chicken dinner in the oven, and most importantly, we're recognizing all the great work that people have done throughout the year. To kick us off, I would like to pass the screen to our fearless leader and most dapper dresser, Dean Orr. Thank you, Theo. I wore my terrapin cufflinks just for you today. Our celebration of serving the public good is always a highlight on my calendar. I'm inspired and humbled by the work that everyone does each and every day to support our students, to advocate for communities across the country and the world, and to realize change in the areas they are passionate about. Particularly at this moment, when people are facing profound challenges in their personal and professional lives, our contributions to and as a community have never been more valuable. So while we can't recognize our award recipients and celebrate as we normally would in person, their achievements are no less important. In fact, they may be more so. Thank you to everyone who took the time to recognize someone who has contributed to the school this year and congratulations to the recipients. Thank you, Dean Orr. Our first award recognizes a teaching assistant who has provided an exceptional instruction experience for our students and outstanding support to the instructor. The recipient of the Excellence in Teaching Award has demonstrated a strong commitment to helping students achieve success and has been instrumental in students' mastery of topics, methods, and practice. This year's recipient of the Excellence in Teaching Award is Sergio Pinto. Hey Sergio, congratulations on receiving this well-deserved teaching award. It reflects the dedication you illustrated throughout the semester and because of your dedication to being an outstanding TA, many students of our microeconomics course have benefited. Although we cannot celebrate this in person, your accomplishment is in no way diminished. Thank you and best of luck with your future teaching endeavors. Congratulations, Sergio. The Beyond the Classroom Award recognizes a student that has made a significant impact outside of the classroom. This student embodies a public mindedness that reflects the value of the school and has carried their learning and passion out into the community to make change at the local, national, or global level. This year's recipient of the Beyond the Classroom Award is Lily Max Cook. Hello. I'm Professor Claire Dunning, and I'm so pleased to celebrate Lily Max Cook with the Beyond the Classroom Achievement Award. Lily Max, the work that you're doing to expand benefits uh, at the University of Maryland for children whose parents served in the armed forces is exactly the kind of work that we hope policy to take on. You identified a problem and are taking action to change it at the university, with the Board of Regents, and working with the legislature in Annapolis. Thank you for all that you're doing, and congratulations on this award. Congratulations, Lily Max. Now to our faculty awards. The Outstanding Teaching Award recognizes a faculty member who has made contributions to the teaching and learning mission of the school that are of extraordinary quality. This teacher is committed to inspiring and preparing students for their work and life beyond the school and instills in their students a passion for lifetime, lifetime learning. This year's outstanding teacher is Juan Pablo Martinez Guzman. I want to congratulate Juan Pablo Martinez Guzman on receiving the Outstanding Teaching Award. I've witnessed Juan Pablo's teaching firsthand and I'm extremely impressed with the care and dedication he puts into it. He regularly uses active learning techniques in the classroom that keep his students engaged in public and finance and budgeting, which I can tell you from experience is not always easy. He also serves as the instructor for our senior capstone. As I sat in on his students' presentations last fall, I was impressed by the effort that his students put in their projects. It tells me that their students were clearly following the lead of their instructor. I've approached Juan Pablo on many occasions to get his advice on how to improve my own courses. He's always happy to lend his time. Uh, I'm really thankful to have Juan Pablo as a colleague. I think this award is well-deserved. 
congratulations, JP, on winning Outstanding Teacher of the Year. I can't think of anyone who deserves it more. You pour so much into your students and into your classes. And because of that, you are one of our most beloved teachers that we have. They all affectionately know him as JP, and they have to take him twice often, although we have some more folks now teaching 400. But for many students, they've taken JP twice to come out of the public policy program. We get emails from students saying, I was in this internship with a financial budget office and I felt completely prepared because of my 303 class with JP. We also have students just constantly saying, wow, he actually made budgeting fun, which is really hard to do. And then I'll never forget last year's graduation where JP was running around trying to get a picture with every single graduating student because he feels so much affection to them and that is equally returned by our students. So thank you for all you do. The public policy major would not be what it is without you. You're amazing and this is very well deserved. Congratulations. The Research Excellence Award recognizes a faculty member who is pushing the boundaries of applied interdisciplinary research and contributing to a robust and active research agenda at the school. This year's recipient of the Research Excellence Award is Lucy Chu. I am very happy to congratulate Professor Lucy Chu for receiving the school's Research Excellence Award. As many of you probably know, Lucy is a research powerhouse, and importantly, she is also an amazing colleague. She and her growing research team have been tackling diverse topics in energy economics and climate change and publishing new and interesting results at a blistering pace. By my quick count, something like six papers in 2018, six papers in 2019, and already two in 2020 with many more in the pipeline. All of these are in high quality journals. Lucy has continued to bring in external funding from both federal and foundation funders like Sloan. She is an extraordinary collaborator, both internally and externally. She has been a key intellectual leader within our Center for Global Sustainability, both in setting a cardinal example and also in mentoring and building a community of research and scholarship within the center and the school. Her work is critically important to help us understand how to better respond to climate and energy challenges. And in doing all this, Lucy is a fantastic colleague who rigorously, quietly, insightfully, and sympathetically contributes to everybody's success. In short, Lucy's commitment to advancing knowledge to our community and to integrating them both helps us all do better as a school and I think can inspire each of us. Congrats, Lucy. Hi, my name is Xin Chishan. I'm a second year PhD student at the School of Public Policy. My advisor is Professor Chu. She is a super nice advisor. Every time I have a question, she will answer me immediately. Every time I discuss with her about my research, she can always give me a very smart and creative idea, which is super useful for my research. She is so great. Congratulations, Professor Chu. Congratulations, Lucy. As a school, we focus not just on teaching and research, but also getting out into the world to make a difference. The Public Impact Award recognizes a faculty member who has used their academic research and expertise in service of the public, and who has played a meaningful role in improving policy at the local, national, or international level. The Public Impact Award for this year goes to Philip Swags Swagel. And to say a bit about Phil's achievements, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome the Jimi Hendrix of public budgeting, Phil Joyce. I'm delighted to be able to present the Public Impact Award to Professor Philip Swagel. Professor Swagel's expertise was in great demand even before this year, as he was frequently called upon by the media and government officials to share his expertise concerning economic policy but his impact has reached a whole new level since being named in May of 2019 as the 10th director of the Congressional Budget Office. CBO is an organization that embodies the kind of objective analysis and speaking truth to power that is central to what we try to communicate to our students. That legacy is in good hands with Phil Swagel, and I'm thrilled to recognize his contributions to both the country and to our school with this award. Congratulations, Professor Swagel. 
Congratulations, Swigs. Phil, congratulations, Phil. Turning now to our ever so incredible staff. The Outstanding Service Award recognizes a staff member who has gone above and beyond in serving the school and whose work has significantly contributed to the success of our entire community. It is my great pleasure to announce that this year's recipient is the woman, the myth, the legend that is Daryl Lee Hale. Daryl Lee, congratulations on receiving this award. It's very well deserved. You're an awesome coworker. You're an absolute delight to work with. And we're really happy that you received this. Congratulations. When I saw the award nominations come out this year, my first immediate thought was, Daryl Lee needs to win one of these. Not only is she unfailingly optimistic all the time, every time you work with her, she's so nice and so wonderful to work with. She's also always willing to go the extra mile, even when things are nuts. And I have an example of that. This year, when school shut down amongst the COVID-19 crisis, all of a sudden, all of our admitted student open houses were online. And I emailed her and said, we really need your help. We've got to get something online ASAP to get students to want to come to Maryland. And in one week's time, she helped us gather all types of student videos, and then she compiled them and put them together into something amazing. We were emailing and texting all weekend long amidst the world falling apart, and yet she was there and she got it done for us, and it's fantastic. And that's true in every sense of the word for anything we ever need. So congratulations, Daryl Lee. We so appreciate your help. This is very well deserved. Thanks for everything you do for us. Congratulations, Daryl Lee. Committed to helping students in any way they can, the recipient of the Champion of Student Success Award provides exceptional assistance, guidance, and inspiration to our students. Through their work, they have a meaningful and lasting impact on students and make a real difference in students' personal and professional lives. The recipient of this year's Champion of Student Success Award is the man with the best catered lunches, with the biggest heart, and the brightest smile, Mike Goodhart. Mike, I could say all kinds of things about you and why you so deserve to win this Student Success Award. Um, but what I think it really boils down to beyond your work ethic is just how much you care about each and every student we have. You go way beyond the call of duty because you really, really care about each person. And I think that's so admirable. And congrats to you. Hi, Mike. I'm so happy you win this prize. You definitely deserve it. You just show me how the trust is built, which makes me never hesitate to ask you for help. And I just want to tell you one thing. I know there is a movie called Like a Sunday Like a Ring, but you just like a daddy like a friend. So, my congratulations! I'm a graduate student from Guangdong University of Foreign Study and UMD cohort. I would like to say that Mike is the most helpful person I've never met before. I want to use this opportunity to express our great, great gratitude to Mike for his thoughtfulness about our study and life at UMD. And he gives us a wonderful experience in the US. Thank you, Mike. Mike is the best boss I can ask for. He is so warm-hearted and hardworking. Every single day he is solving problems and helping others. Also, he deeply cares about people around him. I feel so lucky to work with him. And thank you, Mike. While we most frequently see students, faculty, and staff in our real and now virtual hallways, the largest part of our community lies beyond the campus walls. The Distinguished Terrapin Award recognizes the impact our alumni have on the school and on society, celebrating their personal and professional achievements in service of the public good. This year's recipient of the Distinguished Terrapin Award is Patrick Kerwin a 1986 graduate of the Master of Public Management program and current director of the Trade Promotion Coordinating Committee at the International Trade Administration. Congratulations to Patrick Kerwin for receiving this year's Distinguished Terrapin Award. Pat was one of the school's earliest graduates when he received his Master of Public Management degree in 1986. Since that time, 
he spent much of his illustrious career in trade policy at the U.S. Department of Commerce. Currently, Pat is the director of the Trade Promotion Coordinating Committee at the International Trade Administration, where he coordinates the activities of 20 federal agencies involved in international trade and develops the federal government's national export strategy. Pat always dedicates a sizable portion of his free time to support the School of Public Policy, including currently serving on the Dean's Advisory Committee. He answers the call for alumni engagement of students whenever asked, including participating in the Maryland Mentor Program and offering internship guidance for students interested in opportunities at Commerce. If there is a networking event, Pat is a consistent and reliable presence ready to help newer generations of SPP students navigate the public policy job and internship market. For your professional success and unwavering dedication to your alma mater, congratulations on your award. Congratulations, Patrick. We've reached the dessert course of our event, so grab your tart au citron while we recognize the final award recipients. First up, the Lifetime Service Award. This award recognizes someone who has contributed to the school over many years and whose dedication and commitment to the communities and school success is clear to all. This person truly reflects the best of us and we would not be the same without their years of hard work and passion. It is my great pleasure to announce that the recipient of the Lifetime Service Award is the man with the flashiest watches in showbiz, Professor Chris Foreman. I only took one class with Professor Foreman, but it was superlative. Most likely to humble you, the first memo I ever wrote was returned to me with way more red markings than white space on the page. Best textbook, also known as the Memo on Memos, which has literally taught thousands of policy students how to write for busy people. The list goes on. And while I also learned in this class that doing nothing was always a policy option to consider, that wasn't Chris's approach. He did the yeoman's work. He cared about critical issues and he stood up for what mattered to our community. Thank you, Professor Foreman, and congratulations. There are a lot of labels that could describe accurately Chris Foreman. He's a scholar, he's a teacher, he's a citizen, he's an activist. He's a family man. He's always there for his wife and his sons. But the one that I'm most familiar with is friend. Chris started out for me as a colleague and over the years he has become a very, very dear friend. He's always there for you in a quiet, unassuming, unflashy way, but he's there for you. And so I treasure that friendship and I know that I speak for a lot of members of the School of Public Policy family, that we will miss that friendship in person. But we know that that friendship will continue long after Chris departs the College Park campus. So congratulations, Chris. We wish you a long and happy retirement from all of your friends in public policy. Hey Chris, I know this is supposed to be about you, but I have to say one of the smartest things I did as Dean was to recruit you to the School of Public Policy. We knew you'd be a stellar teacher and a great researcher. What we didn't anticipate was what a magnificent institution builder you would be and what a terrific contributor to the school as a community. Thank you, congratulations, best of luck, and we're gonna miss you, take care. Hi, Chris. I can't believe I'm standing here recording a farewell video for your retirement. When we first started working together on admissions, you told me you were going to be the chair until retirement. I thought you were on the Alan Schick schedule and I could not worry about replacing you for the next 20 years. But here I am, easily 15 years too soon, saying good luck, goodbye, and I do hope you stay in touch. Have fun in retirement. Does the English language have enough good words to adequately describe and honor Chris Foreman? Intelligent, brave, that it devoted to a serious and fair political process in our nation and in our school, 
placing the real above the rhetorical, trusted, collegial, ever ready to take on at least his share of the common enterprise. We will miss you, Chris, but we were fortunate to have you as a colleague for 20 good years. Thank you very much. There is no one who more embodies the notion of lifetime service than Chris. And it is particularly fitting that we honor this service as he retires after two decades. Chris is the quintessential member of our community, a good citizen who always rallied to the call of what the school needed. He imbued the very best of our values and our analytical training in multiple generations of students who, decades out themselves, still associate the School of Public Policy and Good Policy with Chris Foreman. Congratulations, Chris, and thank you for making the school your place to make a difference and for your significant contributions in creating the school that we have today. Thank you, Chris. So now our final award. The Dean's Award recognizes a standout member of our community who has made exceptional contributions to the life of the school. Through their efforts and support, the recipient has furthered the school's mission to educate, discover, and make an impact in the world. This year's recipient of the Dean's Award is Professor Tom Hildy. As a student of Professor Hildy's, as well as assistant for the Indonesia program, I know that the effort he puts into teaching expands the impact of the School of Public Policy quite literally. His courses are always evolving, relevant, and attract a diversity of students, which is a strength not only for the school, but also for the university overall. The success of the Indonesia program in particular is due without question to his tireless efforts to advance the course each year, and I'm fortunate to have been a part of it. Professor Hildy has impacted my education, my career, and even my way of understanding the world, and I can think of no one more fitting for this award. Congratulations, Tom. So I would just like to congratulate Tom Hildy on this award. Um, Tom is one of these amazing people that you meet in your life who's really dedicated to his work. Um, and in this case, his work is teaching and, and learning. Um, Tom has taken this passion for understanding the way the world works, understanding humans, uh, understanding how we interact with each other, um, and it's taken him literally across the globe. And for the school, he's luckily brought students with him. Um, Tom and I have been to amazing places. We've been to jungles on two continents. We've been uh, to places I never thought I would go in my life. And he's brought students to places um, they never thought they would go, um, both in and outside the classroom. Um, and one of the most amazing things about Tom is his true dedication. He genuinely cares about people learning. He genuinely cares about people engaging with the material. And whenever we have a conversation, one of the furthest, you know, most important things in his mind is how will the students engage? How will the students uh, enjoy this? And I think he's just done a great service to the school and a great service to everyone uh, who knows him. Uh, Tom is a great colleague, a great mentor, and a great friend. Uh, and I thank you so much for everything you've taught me. And I can't wait to see what new things you do in this ever-changing and complex and crazy world. Tom is certainly no stranger to any part of the school, and we are all fortunate that he shares his passion for learning so widely. He has taught in the undergraduate and graduate programs and is a sought out participant in our executive education programs as well. He has pioneered study abroad courses that have earned him effusive praise from students and that have been recognized by NASPA, our accrediting body, as a standout practice. And he has deepened the school's partnerships around the world, creating opportunities for our students and faculty to engage with policy leaders and communities in Indonesia and Peru. In all that he does, in and out of the classroom, he keeps our feet to the fire and our minds focused on the importance of ethics, normative analysis, and values in policy education. Congratulations, Tom. Well, that wraps up our celebration of serving the public good for 2020. Congratulations to all the award recipients, as well as everyone who was nominated. 
Thank you to everyone who took the time to recognize the efforts and achievements of their classmates, colleagues, or professors by putting them forward for an award. It has been my pleasure to be your host for this event. And as tradition demands, I'll leave you with one last joke. I hope you all stay well as we practice a safe and social dis dance. It has been my pleasure to be your host for this event and as tradition at the bunch. This last one, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. We're gonna make a lot of people laugh. <laughs>